public transport's being boosted ahead of a blockbuster summer of major events. An extra 42 tram and train services will run this weekend as thousands flock to the city's stadiums for the Big Bash and A-League. A dedicated shuttle service will take tennis fans from Flinders Street to Melbourne Park for the Australian Open, with some trams free for ticket holders. There will also be more trains running for the VRC Summer Fun Race Day at Flemington and Elton John's Melbourne Tour Stop. And Seven News has been granted exclusive access inside a new high-tech hub set up to monitor Melbourne's public transport network. It's designed to combat ongoing disruptions from major construction projects. They've got eyes all across the city and to keep public transport running, they'll need every one of them. There are over 9,000 CCTV cameras across the network and we have access to every one of them here. It's Victoria's first public transport disruption management centre, said to deal with the challenges thrown up by two major infrastructure projects. The two big ones are the Metro Tunnel redevelopment as well as the City Loop. But commuters need to be cut off to get them back on track. If we need to make decisions to move buses, we can do that in real time just by vis visualising what's occurring on the network. Buses will be replacing trains on sections of the Cranbourne, Pakenham, Stony Point and Sandringham lines until January 27, as crews prepare the tracks for the Metro Tunnel. We are literally going through the biggest disruption period that we've known in this state. Critical safety upgrades for the City Loop were flagged in 2011. On Monday, the works finally began, closing Melbourne Central, Parliament and Flagstaff stations until January 15. It is having a major overhaul of its security, its fire, its water systems. More than 100 staff will monitor the disruptions from the centre in the CBD. We uh, monitor the CCTV continuously. Where we see any crowding uh, on the platforms, etc., uh, we intervene. 150 customer service staff will also be on the ground to help commuters, and if they can't see something, they'll keep an ear out. If anybody is experiencing any difficulties, uh, please call our helpline, which is 1800 800 007. Kathleen O'Connor, 7 News.